So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and this one's a little crazy. Today I showcase to you guys how you can get an additional 80 to 100% extra damage on anything and this stacks with other damage buffs too and guess what guys, it's unlimited. Wow. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there's an item in this game which you can apply to a weapon. It's an Ash of War. It's called the uh, Royal Knights Resolve. This gives you, on that next shot with that weapon it's applied to, an additional 80 to 100% extra damage. I'm rubbish at maths, guys. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. But either way, so I apply, I've got it here right here on my katana, which I'll showcase to you guys. Obviously, you go to your grace, uh, go down to your Ashes of War. You'll see it here. Uh, uh, select it, and you can see it's right there. The Royal Knights Resolve is applied to my katana. So when I activate it, my next attack gets uh, additional damage. Between 8, 70, 80, 100%, I'm not sure. But it's only for that one extra attack, and the effect wears off between 8 and 12 seconds. That's how long you've got to hit somebody with it. But guys, there is a twist. If I activate it on my weapon, for instance, my katana, and I use another weapon, I get unlimited extra damage for the 8 to 12 seconds. For instance, as you can see here, with my staff in hand, I'm going to shoot this goal. If you don't run away, okay, let's go for another one. So if I do this, and you'll see I get 731 damage. Now, if I activate the Ash of War, do the same to this goal, boom, extra damage. Extra damage. Nothing else there, but yeah, extra damage. And you get that for, for 8 to 12 seconds. It's unlimited. Pair this with something like the Comet Azur. Pair this with the Terra Magicus. How much damage buffs are you going to get? Like I said, it's infinite, guys, because you can just literally keep spamming it. Spam it when it runs out. It's so simple. It's unreal. So yes, an additional 80 to 100% extra damage on anything you use. And I mean, you could even... Put the weapon away so you can apply it and even put the weapon away and use something else if you want to that's completely up to you you still have that 8 to 12 seconds okay so how do you get this royal knights resolve well it is a bit of a quest and i've seen a couple of other guides on how you get this thing but none of them are really clear and it is quite annoying and I understand you guys, I know a lot of people are going to be watching this video thinking, finally, someone actually showcases the exact location of how you get this and how you get to the area to get it. But it's quite simple. So on your map, you'll see an area, or you've probably know this area, called Volcano Manor. Now, the actual, this actual item is located within Volcano Manor, but you can't actually get it via going to Volcano Manor initially. You have to go here via an alternative route. And to do this, guys, you need to come down to... Reyes, uh, Grant, uh, Lucia, I don't know, what, what's this place, people, I'm calling it the School of Magic, I don't give a crap, that's what it's called, the School of Magic, I get it so confused, so I'm just an idiot, just leave me alone, alright, so you want to spawn into, now if you haven't got to this area firstly, uh, when you come here, there's going to be a seal over the door, to unlock the seal, you need to come to this spot right here guys, there's going to be a dragon asleep here, Behind him, there is a seal. Grab it and run. They can then come to either entrance, guys, and get into this school. Then, guys, you want to make your way around and just unlock all these grace points. There's nothing hard, nothing in your way, to be honest. So from the schoolhouse classroom, this is where you want to go to. I'm going to run through you on screen now with you live so you just don't get confused, people. Now, there will be a boss in the way which you will have to take out. But you should be fine people so once you load in turn back on yourself from the grace point and come down these steps then go right you'll see this massive wheel where you need to jump onto one of the platforms so wait for one to come up jump onto it and you are good from here once it gets to near the top run around the top and get onto a platform on the other side and just follow it to the very bottom and just just do that simple what i will say is guys you'll also need uh, a stone sword key so make sure you have one of those so when you're at the bottom guys just jump off and you'll see one of these giant mothers i don't know what these are called either but they're just some funky ass looking enemies in this game this one right here and the, the trick is guys 
you need her to pick her you up in her belly or put you into her belly or whatever this contraption is and kill you so you may want to think about your wounds as well here because you won't be well you probably can come back and get them but if you've got a small amount so i had 135,000, didn't bother me i can get this back in literally two swings but that's fine with me but yeah you need her to pick you up put her into her belly which is just one horrible looking place and you need to be killed via doing this and what this will do guys is this actually takes you to a secret area or a, well yeah it is actually a secret area because i don't know if there's another way of getting here until you progress through it via going through this route so yeah once she actually kills you you'll then spawn in guys within the volcano manor but this is a place or a spot within volcano manor you can't actually get to we're going to Volcano Manor above ground. Not until you progress via this place first, then you unlock the path. So follow the path I take on screen now, guys. Jumping across, uh, we're jumping over all this lava, and then you'll come up to here. Now you will have to drop down. It looks like a dirty drop. It looks like it can kill you. But if you come here, you should be fine. I mean, I don't think it takes any damage off me. So yeah, you should be fine. Okay, so just follow the path I take on screen now. Uh, jumping across here ignoring this lava slug or whatever that is no idea jump across here guys and just follow the path up here and then take a sharp left now just follow up here guys and there will be a dude um you may want to take out this this funky looking snake thing whatever it is so take him out it's probably just gonna annoy you and then guys you want to get into this cage which is actually a lift so yeah and this will take you upwards. So once you come up here, guys, uh, you don't have to be a bit overkill like I did. I thought this dude's going to just tank me, but he didn't. You need to take out this dude. I just dropped down my turret magic curse. I was dropping down all sorts of people. I was thinking, this guy is just going to one bomb me with that dirty weapon. So you know what? I'm going to take him out. And then I realized, yeah, that happened. So yeah, don't worry about that. So then come up the steps. Uh, grab whatever he drops yeah black frame nice nice we like that so come through here guys and you will get a boss fight it's god's good noble it's quite easy to take out so yep just take him out guys and once you are done activate the grace right behind him then collect any collectibles in this small room if you want to and then right the grace guys there is a lift with a lever next to it simply go up in this lift then guys from here follow where I go go out the door and come round this platform. Then guys jump down here and follow the route I take. Let's keep coming around now. Be careful here because these slugs are obviously blocking your path or snails. I don't know what they are. Ain't a slug a snail? Just without a shell? I think so i don't know okay so then here come up here guys and just jump off to your left and just be careful you don't want to fall down here so keep coming up keep coming up and just come across here now from here guys it's very basically straightforward as long as you've got that stone sword key you can just avoid all the enemies and go and grab that thing now you want to avoid this bird as well don't know where she would take you if she put you back in her stomach but yeah avoid her and jump through this window then guys you will go and have to open this door so do that once you get through the door guys you can kill this dude or run past him it's up to you i think yeah i decided to run past him and jump through this door well go through this door then guys just run straight forward avoid, avoid all these ads avoid all these enemies don't worry about them and then just come down these steps keep going forward guys ignoring these as best you can it's a cool weapon though that flame whip i wonder if you can actually get that off him in the back right of this room there's going to be a door which you have to go through so open the door i don't know why it takes you like a week to open the door when you got all that power but either way and from here guys you want to make your way up these stairs so yeah go up these stairs then in this door right behind you you have to use your stone so kick so use it right here and enter this room guys 
and then you have to like jump down platforms so what i would say is don't actually jump just walk off i died trying to jump i just missed a ledge absolute fail but either way then just jump that well uh, walk down guys be careful just keep walking down ignore any enemy shooting at you and once you get to the last crate you can try and jump across to this platform like i did and failed but you won't die if you jump down from here anyway so yeah it's up to you so i, I failed miserably but either way then guys just run straight up to that room right in front of you and there you have it guys right there on the floor next to this body will be the royal knights resolve ash of war and there you have it people this is how you get an additional 80 to 100 percent damage bonus and guys well if you follow the route i take now you actually come up to the door which you've probably if you've been to volcano manor the main house the main manor you've probably noticed after doing all the quests uh there's actually one door that you can't open it's this door which you, it opens from the inside so yeah and there we have it people guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one